Good morning, Mike German, Visual Animations. So, in the last video, we looked at Sketchfab and Mixamo, and we combined the model from uh, Sketchfab, and then we brought it into Mixamo and added the animations. And now on the screen, this is what we had. If you can remember, we had this uh, um, Stormtrooper doing this amazing little chicken dance. Right, so in today's video, we're going to um, add more animations to this character so it's not just the one animation we're going to have him probably walk and uh, jump or run or go into a dance or do you know let's just go and have a look at what we can do and we can build this um, character and add a little bit more of a sequence to it so it lasts a little bit longer and it could be part of a scene okay so what we do is we go over to Mixamo back here again where our character is still loaded. So whichever one you load into Mixamo, it will remember it and it will be there next time you go into the program, okay? So we've, we've still got our character here. All right, so what should we do? So what should we, what should we do on the animations? Let's have him, should we have him walk first? So he can, he can be stationary then start walking, can't he? So we could go, let's just type in walk. Um, and have a look what we've got. So we could have, now if we put say, if we put like stop walk, for example, we might have, so it's walk to stop. You must stop and start, um, stop walking. Okay, we could do that one. Uh, what else have we got? Let's just have a look, see if there's one that's a little bit better. Um, walking backwards. Anyway, let's just, let's just, let's just choose one of these. Let's have a look at the stop walking one, because I think he will walk and then he will stop. Yeah, so we could do that one. And then after that, he could do another move after this. So let's download that one. Same thing, don't have to touch any of these settings, just download it. Okay, so now that's downloaded, let's have a look at another animation that can go after the the, the walk and then stop. Let's put in, um, look, let's have a, let's see what happens if he can, if he stops and then you can like have a look round, something like that. Here's one here, look. That's quite good. So we could just have a look into the distance. So let's download that. So we can add that in as a sequence. And then, oh, maybe maybe he's, he, he walks and then he's looking and then there's a loud noise or something shocks him. Okay, so we've got one here though, which is really good. Let's have a look at this one. So he's looking, yes, look at that. So you, you've all, you can see how you can start to build a little story of these sequences um so yeah let's have that one as well that we can add into the mix um right so he, he's walking he stops he looks around he hears something he jump. he looks behind him um maybe he then has to run or go for his weapon yeah he'll go for his weapon wouldn't he so let's go for um i don't know let's try weapon as a search term, see what we get here now. Ah, uh, oh, that one. Oh, spit reaction. <laughs> no, probably not that one. Uh, let's have a look at. Oh, let's just put gun. Let's put gun. Um, right, so what would be a good one to appear after that? draw gun let's put draw and see if it would draw uh, like the draw in the weapon yeah drawing gun here we go um so this yeah the drawing the gun is a good reaction to come next so if we download that one we're just trying to build a sequence now you can actually you can have if you had a little film in mind you could say that you wanted him to you know he could be 
fall out the back of a moving truck, he could fall onto the floor, he could get up, he could hide, you know, so if you've got these little sequences that you'd already say put out on a storyboard or you've just got a little idea of a story, we can then find them to absolutely fit what will happen to this character one stage after another. But these, are, I'm just gonna choose about five and just show you how these, how we link these together, okay? So he's walking, he stops, he looks around, he draws his weapon, oh no, he, he looks around because he hears a noise, he draws his weapon and then he, now what does he do? Does he fire or is he kind of walking with the gun? So if we go gun, walk, because maybe something's not there, maybe he's just heard something but he's not too sure what. So, so what would happen? He draws the gun, he either crouches or walks backwards slowly. So let's have a walk backwards. That might be a good one to happen next. Walk backwards on there. Let's have a look at these, walk backwards. Okay, so he's quite good because he's drawn a gun, isn't he? Walk backwards. Let's put walk backwards and gun because he might be, he might be because he's holding it. Walking backwards. Right. It's limited the, the search too much that one. So um, well, some of these are quite good, but they're but they're like two handguns, and he's he's just got the one hand on this gun. So just to make sure it matches. Um, maybe that one because maybe he could have the one hand and then he could go backwards yeah let's do that one let's do that one let's make a decision and just get some because i just want to show you how these successfully will link together so so we could just do that couldn't we um that should be enough we've got the stop walking the looking looking over the shoulder drawing the gun and then walking well that should be enough i think we've got let's just see what we've got we've got um We've got the stop walking, so he'll be walking and he stops, and then he he looks around and then hears a noise and then looks quickly over his shoulder, so then he draws his gun and then he walks backwards with his gun. So that's five um, separate animations that we're going to put together now in one sequence. Okay, so now we've downloaded those, let's now head over to cinema and then import all of these um, models into here <laughs> so do you remember this from the previous video him doing the chicken dance <laughs> so what i think we will do is we'll start again Let, let's not have that let's just start again we're not going to add it onto the chicken dance we're just going to start with a new scene um a cup of coffee and import these five animations and then join them together and I'll show you that in just a second okay so what we do let's go to file uh, open project and here we are in our downloads list here so the first one we're going to have is the stop is the walk in and then stop so we'll import that one first don't need to worry about changing any of this just say okay to that so here he is, right, let's just zoom out and see what this one is doing. If we just play that. So he walks and then stops, okay? Right, what do we do? Over here, let's group, don't worry about the camera, let's just take the camera out for now just so it's not there at all. So we take both of these, group both of these together, right click and group objects. And then we wanna call that walk, stop okay that's the command he's doing now what we need to do is add a um i can never remember the name of it uh a motion clip sorry we need to add a motion clip to this now so we just go on to animate and we go down to add motion clip now what we need to do is uncheck this bit that says remove included animation from original object we don't want to remove it we want it to stay on there so we uncheck that and then the rest of it's fine, we just okay it. That then, if you look over here, puts this motion clip tag onto here, okay? These are very important. We'll need that when we start to build these animations. 
Right, so the first one's in place. We now need to go up to File here, and then we're gonna merge the other objects into here, rather than open them into different places. So we'll bring in the looking is the next thing that he does and go okay and then again let's delete the camera and then let's group those two together and call this one um let's just rename that looking and again we need to add a motion clip to it so add motion clip make sure this is unchecked and okay it now as you can see we've got two stormtroopers one over the other and if you press play now look they're just completely working independently of each other okay so we don't want that obviously we want that this we want these animations to go on one character what we do is to save confusion in this space when we're working is we turn off the one on there okay so we'll, we'll start with the the walk stop one which is the original and then all the others that we bring in we're just going to turn them off so you don't see them okay so we go again file merge objects uh what's the next one look over shoulder let's get that one in okay same thing delete the camera group these two together and call it look shoulder again animate um add motion clip make sure it's not checked and then go yes and then make that invisible turn off the visibility so we've just got the original one go back to file merge objects drawing gun is the next one okay to that same thing delete the camera <laughs> um, group uh, let's call that as it is you don't need to invent any more words just drawing guns so it's the same as what it was and then we will uh, turn off the visibility and then finally we want to merge the the pistol walk backwards again into there delete the camera group these two um, and then we'll say let's just call that walk backwards Okay, and then turn off the visibility. So the scene is set. So let's record that. Sorry, let's, let's um, save this project as something we can remember. So we'll call this one Storm Trooper Scene 1. Okay, there we go. It, we're saved. Right, <coughs> another sip of coffee before it goes cold today. So what do we do now? We have all of our animated, our five animated sequences in here. We've turned them all off apart from the first one, which plays like this and it stops. Where are the others? How do we get the others to, to link? All right, all we do, ah, hang on a second. I've just spotted something here that we haven't got. We haven't got the motion clip. I was so quick doing these, I've actually forgot to do a couple of steps. We need to make sure we add the motion clips to these, these ones here as well. Animate, add motion clip, off we go. Right, so they've all got a motion clip. They're all switched off apart from this one. So this is the one that we need to work on. So when you click on that tag, down here, it says open in TL, right? So open in timeline. So that's what we need to do is open it and down the bottom here, if we make that a little bit bigger so you can see this is the the walk stop motion okay so if we shrink that down that character is walking over those 90 frames so we need to add a lot more frames to this so let's put in let's put in 800 just for example it doesn't matter at this stage let's just put a few more in Okay, now as you see over here, all of these other ones that we've added a motion clip to, um, look in, look over shoulder, look shoulder, drawing gun, walk backwards, they're all added in here. So all we need to do is start to build these on the timeline. So the first one is this one. He stops and then he looks. So we drag that one into this space and let go. 
And then what we want to do to make the transition between the two as smooth as possible is we want to drag this over the top of that one, not butt it next to it there, but it needs to lap over about, you can go between five to 10 frames just to make that smooth. And then, right, so this is where we, we may need to do another little step. We'll just see what this does. So as we come to here, can you see what's happening? He's going sliding all the way back to the start before he does that motion, right? Which doesn't look right at all. It needs to be there where he, he stands now. The reason that's happening is the beginning of all of these are at this point in the middle, at zero axis, okay, on the coordinates. So as you move forward, he's now walking to another coordinate. But when this other animation drops in, it drops in at naught. So we need to put it over here. How do we move that over there? What you do, quite simply, is you right click on this timeline here, right click. Sorry, I told you wrong. You don't right click at all. You click on it <laughs> and then you go over to here and you go to advanced. And on advanced, there is something here called create pivot. It sounds confusing. It really isn't, honestly. You just create the pivot and it will add that on here on the timeline look. So you've now got a walk stop pivot. So what do we do? How do we make this work? Now we've got a pivot. What we need to do is we need to bring, and I like to, I mean, there are ways of doing this very neatly, exactly, and all of this, but I think visually is just as good for me. I can see where he stops. I can come across to here. And on this one, I can click on the pivot. I can click on the coordinates just here and I can move this character now up to the end here. So we just have to look at which plane. So yeah, it's in the Z diary or Z, UK Z, America Z <laughs> in the Z axis. And we want to scoot him forward there. And then we want to have a look at what happens. So his feet are just moving a little. So maybe that foot wants to come a little bit more forward. Okay. Yeah, so if we look at that from a different angle, you'll see he walks along and then yeah, he actually he actually scoots out like that, doesn't he, before he looks round. So if you move this over more into here, the more you move it and lap it, the smoother those transitions will be between the two. Yeah, if you literally put it on the end, it will jump. It will, it will just jump from that one to that one, okay? So what this is doing, it's smoothing out that transition between, between the movements, you see? So it's a lot smoother, okay? And I think that's about right. He's just shifting his leg forward, the other leg's staying where it is. And then he's going into that motion where he's looking around, okay? Let's shrink this down a little bit using this, this um, icon here at the end. And then the hand next to it, you can move the timeline along, the timeline along. <laughs> I think I need another drink. Right, so that's really the principle and that's how we're gonna build this. So again, we get to the end of the looking one. So let's add the next one, which is look shoulder. We drop that in there and then we do the same thing again is we lap it over around about 10, 15 frames, you can do more. We can adjust this afterwards really. You know, it depends how long that you want this scene to be and you can put more over and more lap. And the, the, the more lap you have, the more smooth it is. But every time you do this and you lap a new one over it, it's probably gonna shift back to, to the zero point again um, on the X, Y, and Z axis, it's gonna go back to zero. So every time we do that, as we click on this one here and highlight it, and then we go over to here and say create pivot. Okay, so we've now got another pivot there. You can name these, so you've got say, um, you could actually call that one pivot one, um, pivot two. It just, it means it's easier to track. You know, you know that the first one doesn't have a pivot, but between these two, 
you have one for that transition. So we call that pivot one. So it's the first pivot that takes place. So that's the way I do it. I just keep a track of them really. It's just rename them as I go. So pivot two is the one we're dealing with here. So what's actually happened, it's again, we're out here and we've slid back to here. So all we do on the coordinates tab here on the Z axis is we slide the character along. Now if you look at the side view or even go into, into this side view here, you can actually go in and you can line it up. So rather than it slip back to there, we can just adjust that. Okay, let's just see what it looks like from these angles. It might be absolutely fine. So let's just have a look. So he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. There's a little bit of movement and he's actually dropping down slightly as well, which I saw from this view. Okay, so he's on that line. And then when we come across to here that he drops below the line so we can actually bring the y axis up as well just to make sure that he sits and his shoes or boots all right so he is actually still dropping backwards slightly so we're pushing forward so there's not really much movement here but then he mm, that's interesting <laughs> he starts off on the line so you could say all right yeah, you can just find adjust all of these. Each one you can just go, let's, let's stick to one line and make sure that these, the character's only going to go on that line. But this is the one that's getting me. Is He then shifts position. So I think we really need to have that finished position on this pivot, on the line, just there. Okay not too sh oh hang on hang on i've actually moved one by mistake i think i've moved that pivot by mistake just make sure that goes up to that line there so it's as smooth there's a little bit of dip in there i don't know if we're going to see that but it's probably just how the mixamo um characters got that animation added on there you see so he's walking along looks around looks over his shoulder the more we lap this over, the more smooth those transitions will be anyway. Okay. So that's that. And finally, oh no, not finally. We've added three. We need to add two more. So drawing the gun goes next. Again, let's lap it over it. Let's move it up. I like to see, see this from the side view to see exactly. And there he slides back to zero again. So we create another pivot. And this pivot we call pivot three and we Z axis him to here let's just see if we're in the right place yeah not bad at all that one that, that's he's just he's just scooting his foot round like that so that's fine so the last one to add is the walk backwards with the pistol so we just drop that one in same again lap it over it and add sorry create pivot uh, and again we call that pivot four and on the z-axis we slide him up to where he left off so not actually bad that is it because he's taking those steps back there there we go so the whole sequence let's have a look Let's have a look at him moving. Um, so we go back to the, the timeline to zero and we press play. So he walks along. He gets spooked by something in the distance and then a big noise happens. Oh, what was that? Oh, get the gun ready. Oh, okay. Mm, that was not bad, but he just said uh, that was a little bit a little bit snappy there so you could probably just have a bit more frames and the other thing we can do here is he can walk you know he slide he's sliding a bit much there isn't he so let's go forward yeah it's just a little bit of adjustment here just a little bit to make it feel a little bit smoother so he 
Yeah, he's actually sliding back, which I don't like. I don't think he should slide back. Let's try putting that more forward and see what it feels like. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult this one, just to get it to, because it's that's that sliding bit there between the transitions that I don't like so much. No, that's not too bad. Oh, that's better. I had it lap too much. That feels good. And what we can do here um, is we can just we can copy um, another one of these because I don't think that's very long. It stops pretty quick. So what we can do is we can press, I think it's control, and then we can drag another one out and then lap that over it again. Okay, and now we just need to add a another pivot to this because obviously it's it's um, jumping back to the beginning so we, every time we do this we add the pivot so let's finally put in pivot um, five and let's have a little closer look at what's happening here he steps back to there and then he goes forward so we need to bring the z axis back to here and I think we need to go a bit further. You need to look at the feet and where the foot plants down. We need to make sure that that kind of stays planted. Okay, and then that moves forward a little bit too much. So if we go back a bit more, that's kind of about right. So let's just have a look at what that looks like. We get that from a slightly different angle and play it. Yeah, there's there's a, there's a little there's a little jump somewhere there. There's a little jump with that foot where it's um, on the transition. It's hardly noticeable, but you just you just have to play with this a little bit and just make sure that things are looking as good as you can get them really because it's worth it's worth just making making this work at this point um spend a little bit of time on making sure that they lap over and you've got the pivot points in just the right place you know you don't want it to be smooth and then a jump you want it to just smoothly walk through so spend a little time on that but i think we've got let's just put a let's just put a light uh, let's put an infinity light. I always prefer the, the infinite lights on these. Um, okay, let's just finally do a quick animation of this just so you can see the movement. Um, so what we've got, 460 uh, frames just there. Look at the end of the timeline. So if we set this to 460, keep it as standard render. And let's just play let's just render that out and see where we get to so we haven't really got a very good light setup on here and we haven't got any background and we haven't got any floor and all of that but that's not that important for now i just wanted to show you the the movement of what this character is doing in the next video we're going to be adding to this okay this is essentially part one of a series of getting this these animated characters so we're, we're going to be putting a scene behind making it interact with a, an actual scene and then having um, a weapon as well because he actually fires but there isn't anything he's firing and then we can add a, um, a, a plasma bolt of fire whatever you call it from from the uh, from the gun so yeah we're going to build the scene so we're going to start with this animated character. We're then going to, at this point you see on the screen now, we're going to have to put a gun in there and then we can, it's going to be firing. So that's going to be flashing and coming towards the screen. And obviously a lot of scenery and good lighting around it. So if we now just play that back, let you'll see, we've got a fairly good, he's like looking around, what is it, what is it? And then something behind him, draw the gun backwards right there's a little bit of a step there that i said before that would need to be ironed out before we do this but there we go i hope that's been useful um, i don't want to keep you any longer it's 
how long is this video? It's going to be over half an hour, so I wanted to keep these a bit shorter. Um, but I'll see you in part two of this one where we start to add and build the scene and put the weapons in and, and, and the, the, bullet, the plasma fire, whatever you call it. Okay, uh, I will see you soon um, in the next video. Bye for now.